What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video and today's progress to of our Thermaltake Tower 900 PC build themed towards Pirates of the Caribbean. And to start things off, we have filled in all of that foam with some body filler and we're slowly sanding it and filing it back right into shape to start some of the details and progress throughout the build. So right here, those two pieces that we cut in Progress 1, which were going to serve as the walls, I'm now putting some of that expandable foam on them because I want them to act as cliff faces for later on in the build when I carve that out and give it a nice paint job. Remember, this expandable foam does increase in size when it is dry. It basically doubles its size. <music> Okay, so now that we're letting them dry, we're going to go back to the boat and we're going to start rolling out some sheets of aluminium foil. I'm using this foil as a base to create some tentacles, which will represent the Kraken from Pirates of the Caribbean. So I've got my boat standing up there and I'm going to have these tentacles wrapping around the boat and sucking it down into the water. Now, I don't want to give too much more away, but here's what it looks like with a couple of the tentacles in place. <laughs> So now what I'm doing is I'm rolling out and removing bubbles from this plastic clay substance. It basically dries as plastic so it doesn't crack as easy as clay. With this here I'm just using aluminium to mold the face of a skull that I'm creating. And now I'm just creating some cracks in the top and I'm going to be doing a cutout on the top before I put it into the oven. This is pretty easy stuff to work with and it doesn't make a mess like some clays do. So I've also been using the aluminium foil to create a template for this plastic clay material to wrap around to create these tentacles. So I've laid it out nice and flat, it's about three to five millimeters thick, and I'm just going to wrap the aluminium foil. I'm just keeping it nice and straight now, but it's still soft enough so that when it comes to heating it and cooking it and baking it, I can create the shape before I put it in. So now that I did wrap it around, I'm just pinching that clay together so that it doesn't crack when it's heated up. I'm also using my hands to push in and create some divots. So it looks like it's a muscular tentacle and it looks like it also has a tiny bit of veins. That'll make for a nice scary effect once it's all painted in the end. So it took me ages to make these little balls, but using the same material, this is for the suction cups that go on the tentacles underneath. And I just made these little balls, squished them down into circles, and then I'm just using my screwdriver to create the holes in the middle so that they look like suction cups. Another idea would have been to use some Fruit Loops because that's basically what I made. So while we've got all of those cooking, it is time to use our CNC machine because we're going to be creating a reservoir underneath our boat, which will represent the ocean. We're going to have blue liquid flowing through that, and this is going to be milled out six millimeters deep. Okay, so for all you trolls watching the video up to this point, these are the tentacles. Do not get any ideas. I know, already know a couple of you who are going to be commenting already down below. We've used a bit of body filler to fill out the end because we were going to try and pull out the foil after these were cooked and hardened. However, the foil is stuck in place. So we just filled over that with a bit of body filler to create the end bits. And now we're using a bit of glue to stick all of these circular bits on, which we had earlier baked. Let's go! I also scored down the sides to create a separate section so I know exactly where I need to paint a different color and where to stick these circular bits. 
I made different sizes of circular bits, starting from the bottom, being the largest, and then working my way up. And of course, during the video, we did hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you very much, guys, for all the support. Leave a comment down below and tell me at what subscriber count did you guys join the channel? Let me know down below. So right here, I've actually made my own oven because I wasn't allowed to use the oven inside. And I'm just cooking a few more circular bits because I didn't have enough to complete the last tentacle. <laughs> Here now what we are doing is we're trying to make the guardrail for the boat using a bit of acrylic and my jigsaw blade using my plastic cutting blade to cut all of these sections out. It's a really delicate process so I took my time because the acrylic gets so thin once you start cutting into it and cutting all of the sections out. <laughs> So now I want to try and lower the height because it looked a bit weird being so high. It didn't look in proportion with the boat. So I'm going to lower the height of it, which will create a nice consistency. So now we're doing a bit of a test fit and trying to mark out where we actually need to bend this acrylic to create the bend of the boat. So I'll go along the straight and that's where it starts bending where I'm marking my pen now. And we're going to be using a heat gun with my portable oven that I made, just a bit of wood wrapped in foil and using my heat gun to heat that up so we can create that bend. doesn't take long for it to heat up and when it is hot enough I just use the boat as the template and then bend around that corner like so. I just hold it in place for a few seconds, blow it with a bit of air to help it cool down quicker and then we have the finished result. Onto the next piece, exactly the same thing, heating it up with my heat gun. Then we're going to be holding it around the edges of the boat until it cools down. So now that all of those rails are done, we're going to be peeling off this section of acrylic and that acrylic is going to help us create that acrylic world section down below. Now it looks quite interesting to see what the foam looks like underneath that acrylic as well. And here's our rails that we made. We need to cut them down a tiny bit at the tip of the boat just to make them the size. We've got a bit of a gap between which is where the pirates would jump on and off the ship. And we're just going to use some of our acrylic world solution to hold all of that down in place once we're happy with the fit. This is what it looks like from the side. Okay, so we've cut those down. We're now fitting them in place once again, making sure that they fit nice and snug. Both ends meet up. I'm very happy with the results. So we're going to go and acrylic weld them down. Guys, I hope you are all enjoying the progress. This is progress two. Progress three will hopefully be out next Saturday. Let me know down below if you made it this far in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the 20,000 subscribers. Check out more videos on the channel. We've got lots of custom PCs, lots of modding tutorials, lots of liquid cooling tutorials and reviews. And we'll see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.